question 8a is requiring us to find a value of y now the information given to us is that this angle is 40 degrees and RT is equal to DT so based on that it means this angle and this angle are equal because they are the base of the isosceles triangle so we can base on that to find this angle over here now before we can find this angle we need to know this angle now this angle is created by arc RS and this same arc is creating another angle on the circumference which is 40 degrees so these two angles must be equal because they are angles created by the same arc in the same segment so this is 40 degrees now if this is 40 degrees then this angle over here is also 140 degrees as sum of angles on the straight line give us 140 degrees and these two angles over here are 20 degrees each 20 degrees and this one too is 20 degrees good now we have to find y y is just the sum of the two opposite interior angles because the y is an exterior angle to that so y is simply equal to 40 40 degrees plus 20 degrees and this will give us this will give us 60 degrees now let's come to the b xy is a tangent to a circle lmn lmn so let this be our circle and let this be our m let this be our m so we need to draw a tangent to this circle we need to draw a tangent to this circle at m so our L and N will be somewhere around the circle over here. Good. Then the next information is that XLN is a straight line such that under NXM is 34 degrees. XLN. So if XLN is a straight line and the angle at X is 34, just have to stand here and open to about 34 degrees. This will be 34. 34 degrees. And this will be 34. So, so here is now our X, and here will be our L. And here will be our N. Then the next info is that the next info is that angle NMY is sixty five degrees. NMY. So we locate or we join N to So we join N to M so that we can find the angle N M Y. So these are sixty five degrees, sixty five degrees then this is our y good now the next question is 
illustrate the information in a diagram. So that's what we have done. Then find the value of angle MLX. Angle MLX. So we need to connect these two lines. Let's connect these two lines. So we join this to this. I are supposed to find angle MLX. So MLX, this angle over here. MLX. Before we can find this angle, we need to know the angle over here. So by the alternate angle term or angles in alternate segment because this is a tangent to this circle this angle is equal to this angle over here so we have 65 degrees over here and angle MLX angle M L X will be equal to 180 180 minus 65 degrees and this will be equal to 115 degrees now the next question is if you find angle L and M angle L and M so this angle over here L and M this angle over here we still need to use the tangency property. So this angle is equal to this angle. Angles in alternate segment are equal. So if you know this angle, you can find this. Now we know this to be 34. It was given to us 34 degrees. Then we know this to be 115 calculated. Then this angle will be 180 minus. 115 plus 15, 115, which will be 31 degrees. Yeah, 31. So this angle will be 31 degrees. So if this angle is 31 degrees, then angle LMN is also angle L, what? Angle LMN. L and M. L and M is also equal to 31 degrees.